This one number in their battery quote cost them $18,000. Most solar companies won't tell you about this because they make more money when you get it wrong. With net metering ending in most states, these battery sizing mistakes are becoming even more expensive. We're talking $5,000 to $30,000 losses that destroy your solar investment. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to avoid these expensive traps and size your battery system correctly. Mistake number one. Let me tell you about the Rodriguez family in Phoenix. They contacted us after their brand new battery system was failing after just 18 months. Here's what happened. They live in a 2,400 square foot home that uses 35 kilowatt hours daily. A solar company sold them a 40 kilowatt hour lithium battery system with an eight kilowatt solar array the salesman promised you'll never run out of power and you can go completely off-grid during outages. What actually happened? Complete disaster. Here's the math that destroyed their investment. Arizona gets 5.5 peak sun hours daily on average. 8 kilowatts of solar times 5.5 hours equals 44 kilowatt hours maximum daily production. But here's the killer. 35 kilowatt hours goes to their daily home consumption. That leaves only 9 kilowatt hours to charge their 40 kilowatt hour battery system. It gets worse. During winter, they only get 4.5 peak sun hours. 4.5 hours times 8 kilowatts equals 36 kilowatt hours total production. After covering their home's daily needs, there's zero, absolutely zero excess for battery charging in winter. The devastating results? Their battery never reached full charge after October. This chronic undercharging reduced their lithium battery's lifespan by 60%. What should have been a 15-year battery life became six years. The financial carnage, their system cost $32,000 installed. The early replacement will cost $22,000 in year seven. Total financial loss, $54,000 for a system that barely worked. Here's how they should have sized it correctly. The battery charging requirement, 40 kilowatt hours divided by four and a half hours worst case equals nine kilowatts minimum solar needed just for charging, plus daily consumption. 35 kilowatt hours divided by four and a half hours equals eight kilowatt solar needed for the home. Total solar requirement, 17 kilowatt system minimum. What they got? An eight kilowatt system, less than half what they needed. The solar company made an extra $24,000 selling them a bigger battery, but set them up for guaranteed failure by undersizing the solar array. They knew this math, they just didn't care. Mistake number two, the depth of discharge trap. Now let me tell you about the Thompson family in Houston. They fell into the depth of discharge trap and it cost them nearly $40,000. They live in a 2,800 square foot home using 42 kilowatt hours daily because of high air conditioning loads. A solar company sold them a 30 kilowatt hour AGM battery bank, promising three days backup power during outages. The salesman's pitch, 30 kilowatt hours will easily power your home for three full days during outages. Here's the hidden truth they weren't told. AGM batteries can only safely use 60% of their capacity without destroying the battery. And let's do the math. Rated capacity, 30 kilowatt hours. Usable capacity for AGM batteries. 30 kilowatt hours times 60% equals 18 kilowatt hours safely usable. Their essential loads during an outage, refrigerator, lights, fans, internet, use 15 kilowatt hours daily. Actual backup time. 18 kilowatt hours divided by 15 kilowatt hours equals 1.2 days, not three days. Here's what happened during hurricane season. They used 80% depth of discharge during a two day outage. Their entire battery bank failed completely after just 18 months. The financial damage original system cost $18,500. Replacement cost another $18,500. Lost food and spoilage during failures, $800. Total cost, $37,800 over two years. Let me show you the battery chemistry comparison that could have saved them thousands. Lead acid batteries, only 50% usable capacity, 500 cycles at 80% depth of discharge, replacement needed every two to three years. AGM batteries, 60% usable capacity, 800 cycles, replacement every three to four years. Lithium iron phosphate, 95% usable capacity, 6,000 plus cycles, 15 plus years lifespan. If they'd chosen lithium iron phosphate from the beginning, usable capacity would be 30 kilowatt hours times 95% equals 28 and a half kilowatt hours. Backup time, 28 and a half kilowatt hours divided by 15 kilowatt hours equals 1.9 days actual backup with a 15 year lifespan. 
The true cost comparison over 15 years. $28,000 upfront for lithium versus $18,500 plus replacement every three years for HGM. That's $92,500 total for the inferior technology. Mistake number three, the time of use mismatch. The third mistake nearly cost the Chen family $12,000 in lost savings. They live in Fresno, California, and they're on PG&E's ETOUC rate plan. They have an 1,800 square foot home using 20 kilowatt hours daily. Their 8 kilowatt solar array produces 35 kilowatt hours daily. They installed a 10 kilowatt hour Tesla Powerwall, thinking it would be enough. Here's PG&E's brutal 2025 rate structure. Peak hours from 4 to 9 p.m. cost 51 cents per kilowatt hour. Off peak from 9 p.m. to 4 p.m. costs 8 cents per kilowatt hour. That's a 43 cent per kilowatt hour arbitrage opportunity they're missing. Their daily pattern solar produces 35 kilowatt hours from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Daytime usage is 8 kilowatt hours. Evening usage from 4 to 9 p.m. is 12 kilowatt hours during peak rates. They export 27 kilowatt hours of excess solar at 8 cents per kilowatt hour, earning only $2.16 per day. What their undersized 10 kilowatt hour battery actually did, it stored 10 kilowatt hours during the day and covered 10 kilowatt hours of their 12 kilowatt hour peak usage but they still had to buy two kilowatt hours from the grid at 51 cents per kilowatt hour, costing $1.02 daily. Daily arbitrage savings. 10 kilowatt hours times 43 cents equals $4.30 per day. Annual savings, $1,500 to $70. But here's what a properly sized 20 kilowatt hour system would do. Full 12 kilowatt hour peak coverage plus eight kilowatt hours stored for later use. Zero peak hour purchases, $0 spent during four to 9 p.m. Daily arbitrage savings, 12 kilowatt hours times 43 cents equals $5.16 per day. Annual savings, $1,883. The $12,000 mistake, their actual system cost $15,400 for 10 kilowatt hours. A proper 20 kilowatt hour system cost $27,400. The additional upfront cost of $12,000 would pay back in 3.8 years and provide over $4,600 in additional lifetime savings. With net metering credits now worth pennies instead of full retail rates, this arbitrage opportunity is becoming the primary way to save money with solar and batteries. Here's how to avoid these expensive mistakes. And these are the same calculations I use in our battery sizing video that got over 48,000 views. Step one, the solar first calculation. Never size your battery before confirming your solar can charge it. The formula. Battery kilowatt hours divided by worst case sun hours equals minimum solar kilowatts needed. Example, 30 kilowatt hour battery divided by four hours winter sun equals seven and a half kilowatts solar minimum. Then add your home's daily consumption needs. Step two, know your battery chemistry inside and out. Lithium iron phosphate, 95% usable, 15 plus year life, higher upfront cost, but lowest total cost of ownership. AGM. 60% usable, four-year life, moderate cost. Lead acid, 50% usable, two-year life, cheapest upfront but most expensive long-term. Step three, match your utility rate structure perfectly. High time of use spread greater than 15 cents per kilowatt hour difference. Size for maximum arbitrage, moderate spread eight to 15 cents. Size for backup plus some arbitrage, low spread less than eight cents, size for backup only. Step four, the integrated sizing formula. Battery kilowatt hours equals the maximum of either essential loads times backup days needed or peak usage times time of use arbitrage hours divided by usable capacity percentage. Solar kilowatts equals battery kilowatt hours divided by worst sun hours plus daily consumption divided by average sun hours. Step five, verify with real load analysis. Monitor actual usage for two to four weeks minimum. Identify essential versus total loads. Check seasonal variations. Account for future growth like electric vehicles or pools. Here's what most solar companies won't tell you. They make more money selling you the wrong system than the right one. Oversized batteries with undersized solar. They get paid twice. Cheap batteries that fail early, they get paid for the replacement. With net metering ending, getting this wrong is more expensive than ever. At Integrate Sun, we've prevented over $2 million in battery sizing mistakes across California, Texas, Arizona, and Florida. 
We start every consultation with your actual usage data and your utilities rate structure because getting this wrong costs you thousands. And if you're in our service area, we'll analyze your specific situation for free because your energy independence is too important to gamble with. Don't let solar companies profit from your mistakes. Subscribe for more videos that protect you from expensive solar traps, and I'll see you in the next one.